Hi, it is Monday. I'm still sick. Um, but today, what are we doing? We are fixing my GoPro using 3D printing uh, so I can sell them <laughs> because no one wants broken uh, GoPro casing. And we are also going to finish soldering my Arduino board, finally. Um, what we're, sorry, sorry, I know you guys were all like, maybe you should pronounce it properly. It's not soldering, it's soldering. I'm like, okay, does it really matter? I guess it does because apparently that bothers you guys. What else? Someone else also tried to correct me and was like, it's actually soldering. I'm like, at this point, I don't know if you guys are just trolling me. Anyway, what we will do, we will solder the power and also my pressure sensor. And then hopefully we will test my pressure sensor. Let me show you what I found for my GoPro. So first of all, this is my old GoPro. I wanna sell it because I wanna buy a new one. I have two, I have the three and I have the four plus or whatever. They both have different types of clips. The four, I forgot at my friend's house, but I know what kind of clip it needs. The three has a clip, which you can see is completely broken. So this is actually what the GoPro clip looks like. Should I be doing, um, you know, share screen? I could, but that would be too easy. I would rather just film my screen for you. So this is the model. I'm gonna go to the student project house and figure out how to use the 3D printer. I'm gonna print this, hopefully, um, and then attach it here, and then that will go onto this GoPro. And then I'll be able to sell this GoPro, then I'll go get the GoPro for my friend's house, and I'm also going to print this clip because I have the four at her house and it needs this clip and it's also broken. Now, you might be asking, why don't you just order this on Amazon? Because, dear friends, it's not so simple in Switzerland. Not everything ships to, to uh, Switzerland from Amazon, including GoPro clips. Um, if you want a new GoPro clip, yeah, you have to just buy an entire new case. That's stupid, so instead we're gonna learn how to 3D print today. Okay, so I came back from our student project house. And so here's my updated Arduino Nano. So I put all of these shrink, shrink tubing on all of the Arduino connections because I didn't want there to be a short. And additionally, I attached um, the power to the battery. This is the battery that I'm gonna attach. So what I did was I attached the battery connector, this thing, to the ground and the V in port on the analog side. Now, quite funny, when I was first, so I had soldered all of these pieces, right? I had finished last week. Um, and then I went to the student project house. I put on all of these little shrink wrap pieces and then I took the heat gun to shrink the wrapping on these pieces and all of my solders, sorry, all of my solders. So people are like, oh, you're mispronouncing it. It's soldering, it's soldering, it's soldering, it's so soldering. So I melted all of my solders off. They all, the solder melted off of the pins. <laughs> So I had to redo it all again. But this time it was actually a lot better and a lot more efficient, which means it just takes practice. Um, what we're gonna do now, because I'm afraid that the heat gun actually damaged the entire Arduino board, we're first gonna plug it in, see if it works, then we're gonna see if it works with the battery. I couldn't actually attach the pressure sensor 
because <clears throat> it's an I to C um, connection, which means you have to connect it to the I to C bus. And again, I don't have my um, real time clock module yet, so another delay. Super fun. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm doing this with one hand, right? Because I'm holding the camera. So I have my mini USB connector. Let's see if it works. Do, 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 do. Wait, yes, okay. Why are you freaking out? Okay. So it looks like it's working to me. All these LEDs are flashing. Yes, I know it's pronounced LED. You guys don't need to get mad at me. So I actually downloaded the Arduino app. Bum, bum, bum. Applications. Uh, there it is. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do this yet. <laughs> so I can't really play with this because I don't have anything connected to the Arduino. <laughs> I just realized. Um, so I guess I will connect something to this and then I will play with the Arduino software and let you know how it goes. Okay, so let's disconnect this. Wah. Okay, so I don't know if all the pins work, right? Because I soldered, I solder, I so sod wrong all of these things. I soldered all of them, all of the pins, and I don't know if all the connections are right, right? All it was flashing was the power LED and the pin 13 LED. So what I take away from this is that the power works, <laughs> and I don't know if any of the pin connections work. So let's not get too excited. Now, what I want to do is I want to connect my... So, when you plug in this end into the Arduino board, it has a voltage regulator on it, right? Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is 5 volts, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it has a voltage regulator, which means it takes 7 to 12 volts, or 7 to 20, I don't remember, volts um, as power input, unregulated, and then the voltage regulator regulates it for a board power of 5 volts. This is 9 volts, falls in the, is it 9 volts? Yeah, it's 9 volts, falls in the 7 to 20 range, or 7 to 12 range, so, we're gonna see if my Arduino explodes or if it works. I don't even have to plug it in, I just have to put it like this, right? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> this is a wooden table, I shouldn't make smoke. You guys didn't see that, but something just smoked. connection somewhere. Well, I'm gonna try it again, obviously. We're gonna see. Wait, how are you gonna see this? Okay. the source of the, the leak. It's this thing right here. I don't have a macro lens so you can't see but there's this little white dot um, which um, is a hole and every time I plug the power into this thing um, it smokes and it will probably start a fire. Um, you know what we should do? We should plug it back into my computer and see if it still works. Wait, is this gonna break my computer? Nah. Okay, I decided not to plug it into my computer because I have no idea what this 
sorcery does. So I just have it connected to a little uh, Mac uh, iPhone charger thing. So we're just gonna plug it in over here. So I have that here, I have this here. Now we're gonna see what happens. Oh, what, how, what the heck? Okay. So my room smells like smoke and this thing was smoking and I don't know what, I don't know what this piece here is, but it has a hole in it and it was smoking. But then when I plugged it in to the wall, it was still working. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna use it for prototyping. If you guys think that's a bad idea and I shouldn't be using this, let me know in the comments. If you know why I can't attach a five, a nine volt battery here, also let me know because I feel like you should. <laughs> anyway, um, fun day. I have learned that I'm very good at soldering now or soldering, or sad rug, or soda rubbing. I'm very good at soldering now. On the plus side, I did get my uh, GoPro clip 3D printed. This is what it looks like. Oops, when you have it on the actual GoPro, it looks like this. So that's on the plus side. So at least one good thing <laughs> happened today. Um, yeah, so if you wanna see more of my sensor journey, then please subscribe. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.